Hi everyone, welcome to this English learning video. The topic for today's video is S1 Outstanding Exam Writing Study. Table of Contents First, we will have a introduction. Then, we will analyze the question and the writing. Finally, we will have a conclusion. Part 1. Introduction In this learning video, we are going to read a fine piece of writing, which is written by a student in the second term examination. We will analyze and study the structure, sentence pattern, and use of vocabulary from the writing, and discuss what else can be improved. Part 2. Analysis Before studying the writing, let's read the question first. You are writing a blog entry about one of your dining experience in a restaurant. You may describe the restaurant environment, the food you ordered, and the service provided by the restaurant. You need to create a title for your blog entry. There are some key words in the question that we need to pay attention to. We need to write a blog entry with a title. In the contents, we need to include the restaurant environment, the food you ordered, and the service provided by the restaurant. Now, we are going to study the writing together. First paragraph. Hello, this is Chris Wong. Welcome to my blog entry. Today, I will be sharing about my favorite colorful and aesthetic ice cream cafe. This is a general opening for blog entries. Favorite, colorful, aesthetic are the good use of adjectives to describe the cafe. And the writer has clearly states where did he go. Second paragraph. It is not located in Hong Kong, but in the UK. The single floor cafe is around 500 square meters large. The decoration is colorful, mostly in light blue or pink. It has good air conditioning and a good sofa to sit on. Not something, but something, is a good use of sentence pattern. There are lots of descriptions about the restaurant, about the size, the color, and the facilities. Third paragraph, part one. About the food, they sell different flavors of ice cream and gelato, like lemon, cookies, and coffee flavor, etc. They put lollies on top of their ice cream. In the third paragraph, there are lots of description about the food. 
a good use of the linking word like to give examples and a good use of the abbreviation etc which means and other similar things as to avoid a long list. Third paragraph, part two. I once ordered a lemon flavored gelato. The whole set of the cuisine was in Japanese style. When the gelato was served, it was awesome. There was plenty of seasoning on it. It made the gelato much sweeter and more delicious. This paragraph is the description about the dining experience. There are some good use of the vocabulary items. The first one, cuisine, means dish. The second one, seasoning, means flavoring. Awesome and delicious are the good use of adjectives to describe the food. Fourth paragraph. The surface is, they don't have waiters, but the people inside are hardworking. The food portion is enough for me. The price is reasonable. The air conditioning is awesome. This paragraph is the description about the surface. These two sentences are the reviews on the food portion and price. Hardworking, reasonable, awesome are the good use of adjectives to describe the staff, price, and air conditioning. Fifth paragraph. The cafe is a legacy. It still opens in these days. Feel free to go there. For more questions, please contact me via my email. Have a nice day. The word legacy is a good use of adjective to describe the cafe. These sentences is the general closing for block entries. Part 3. Conclusion This is a great piece of writing. The student has fulfilled the question's requirements. He added a block entry. Also, he has included the descriptions about the environment, the food, and the service provided by the cafe. However, he should create a title for the blog entry. This is the end for today's learning video. Please finish the worksheet. Thank you very much.